Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Um, for those who watched my previous vlog, you'll know that I mentioned going to Cindy's uh, last night and it was good, yeah, it was really good fun and uh, good music uh, as always. Plan today probably is to go get some breakfast initially and read a bit of my book. So I'm heading over to the Botanical Gardens now, which is only a few minute walk away, so that should be good. And then afterwards, not quite sure what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'll think of something. through the botanic gardens looking at the different species of plants. I have mainly just been spending my time reading over my book um, and just also just doing a couple of bits and pieces. Probably go to bed now. Uh, I think my plan is just uh, to read uh, my book that I've started reading this week. Just uh, topped up my laundry card so before I get on with anything there is one thing that I do need to do. <music> So yes, here we are again with the laundry segment, got my clothes uh, here and like I said just topped up my laundry card. While the cycle is gets underway, I need to have lunch actually, I haven't had lunch or I'll probably make something for lunch. I've actually decided to go to the cinema nearby and go and see Late Night, which is a film that's just come out starring Emma Thompson, so yeah that should be good and then probably just come back and then just relax for the evening. Late Night was a really good film, uh, it was funny, it was comical, but at times it was emotional actually, um, it was, but it was a really good film, Emma Thompson was brilliant in it. After I obviously haven't watched it, I came back and I've just been organising a few things, and uh, probably go to bed uh, soon, because um, I'm getting tired. Um, yeah, see you in the morning. I think what I'll do to begin with is first of all go to the buttery uh, to get some breakfast and then afterwards uh, just get on with reading my book, see how far I can get through that. So I've just had something for lunch uh, this afternoon, probably be staying inside, the weather isn't particularly uh, pleasant at the moment, um, so I'll probably just be reading a bit more of a book and maybe doing a couple of things for my YouTube channel. So for the rest of the day I've just been doing a couple of things. I've been continuing to read my book and I also decided to just watch something on Amazon Prime. Just making sure also that uh, things are getting ready in terms of uploading the next video uh, for YouTube. Uh, probably go to bed now. I did sleep in but I think that sleep was much needed. Brunch is uh, actually I think in the next half an hour or so. So brunch was delicious. I'm heading over to the Cambridge Union to do some events management. Uh, we've got a speaker uh, this afternoon. Uh, he's the Chief Justice of Pakistan, uh, so he should be listen interesting to listen to. The talk by the Chief Justice of Pakistan was quite interesting. So one of the things he focused on was the idea of the spirit of inquiry, which he described as um, where you kind of be questioning uh, the law and evaluating it, whether or not you think it's right or wrong, which is quite good. And the events management pretty much, much went according to plan, which is also good. Uh, afterwards, I stayed for another uh, speaker's event. This was by Jeffrey Sachs who is a leading economist and UN 
advisor and his talk was quite good as well so and uh, looking at themes relating to the world and what was the situation uh, in terms of for example he, he referred to uh, climate change uh, which was quite interesting and I was with uh, Will and Astrid you might know her and then afterwards just made my way back to college where I am now and um, probably for the rest of the evening just be reading my book and maybe do a bit of YouTube editing as well. I've just been spending the evening reading my book and also starting to edit a, a vlog for YouTube. It's a little bit strange actually to be honest. Um, I'm so used to having preparing for a supervision or, or revising for an exam. When you haven't got that it, it feels strange because it's almost like there's a gap where you would have been working. Uh, so I've just been trying to find different things to keep myself occupied. Good morning. Uh, I think what I'll probably do today is first of all go and get some breakfast in the buttery and then afterwards I need to finish off some YouTube editing. In terms of where I am up to, I've managed to edit um, most of one of my videos. That's pretty much ready to upload when it needs to be. In terms of this afternoon, probably focus just really just reading my book because I just mini did YouTube editing this morning. So I'm actually heading over to the Union now. There is an event on. Uh, it's Joy Reid, who is an American journalist. Uh, so she should be interesting. The talk by Joy Reid was interesting. So she was talking about her experiences as a journalist in America, which was quite insightful. And I was also doing events management whilst I was there. Uh, upon coming back, I just really just did bits and pieces, uh, reading it for a little bit as well. I don't know if you can hear, but it is currently raining. Um, it's been pretty much raining all day, and I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well. Uh, but fingers crossed, hopefully the weather will get better. I think what I'll do, at least uh, to start off with, is go and get some breakfast, and then just to read a bit more of my book. Uh, I think that'll be the plan, and yes, I think it is still raining as well. So I've just been to the shops to buy a few things. I have bought some halloumi, some parma ham, and the reason for that is me and Henry from Jesus College uh, are going to uh, make a halloumi wrapped in parma ham. Uh, for those who've watched my vlogs, you might have known I, I made that at the end of last term, I believe. Um, so we're going to do that again. The uh, halloumi wrapped in parma ham was delicious. Uh, and we, me and Henry, just made that together, and it was yeah, it was it was it was really good. Uh, so I thank Henry for coming over and helping me with that. Uh, afterwards, I just uh, showed him around for a little bit, uh, just like the library and the buttery, just places in college. Uh, this afternoon, probably just read a bit more of my book. Just been spending the afternoon and evening uh, organizing a few things and reading my book so nothing too demanding just a mini relaxing afternoon and evening and uh, probably go to bed now I'll see you in the morning so having just had breakfast I'm heading over to the Sidwick site and um, this is for our subject forum basically this is like a, a series of short uh, about 10 minute lectures or so on each of the modules and uh, that we can choose for for second year uh, and also for third years as well and um, so we get to choose so we do two main um, modules that's contract law and land law next year for second year and then we get to have we have a choice of three other modules that we can choose from and um, so things like family law international law administrative law um, modules like that um, and these lectures are to kind of give us a little bit of an overview of what the uh, module will involve The 
talks that were put on were helpful. I think I'm probably going to choose international law, family law and administrative law. Those ones I'm particularly interested in, in and want to explore, obviously, in second year. I've just had something for lunch uh, this afternoon. Uh, probably just read my book and do a couple of other things. Uh, but there is one other thing that I need to do as well. Welcome back to the Law Snapshot segment. So last time we looked at non-fatal offences, so assault, battery and ABH. Uh, to continue on, firstly looking at grievous bodily harm. And this is covered under two particular sections of the 1861 Offences Against the Person Act, uh, Section 20 and Section 18. So to turn to Section 20 first. Uh, so for Section 20, uh, you have to unlawfully and maliciously wound or inflict grievous bodily harm. So just to break that down, uh, the actus reus obviously has to be unlawful, so that would be subject to the relevant uh, defences, self-defence, consent, etc. Uh, in terms of the actus reus, you either have to wound or you have to cause grievous bodily harm. So wound basically means a break in the continuity of both layers of the skin. Um, so for example, if there's internal uh, bleeding, uh, but there's no breakage in the layers of the skin, then that will not constitute a wound. Uh, so there's cases like JCC and Eisenhower to illustrate that. Um, the alternative uh, factor spheres is grievous bodily harm, and this basically means, in the case of Smith, uh, really serious harm. Uh, so things like uh, really serious psychological injury, uh, STD infections, you have to tend to cause harm, or you have to foresee the risk of some harm, and that's in the case of Savage and Palmetto. You don't have to have the mens rea necessary for the actual, for the GBH uh, element, uh, so to speak, but you've got to at least foresee the risk of some harm. So that's section 20. Turn to section 18. You, this one requires you to unlawfully and uh, maliciously cause, um, uh, unlawfully maliciously wound or cause uh, um, grievous bodily harm. So the actus reus is pretty much the same in terms of wound and grievous bodily harm. So the cases uh, can very much uh, support section 20 and section 18. In terms of the mens rea, the mens rea is slightly different for section 18. So you have to, the focus is mainly on intention. And um, so you have to intend to cause grievous bodily harm. Intention to wound under section 18 is not sufficient. <laughs> Now I said it's mainly round in intention. Now there is somewhat um, an exception to that. Um, in the in the wording of the legislation, there is a it gives examples. Uh, it gives a situation where you resist arrest or you prevent the uh, the you prevent the apprehension uh, or detainment of of another. And in that context, um, the courts have held that in you can at least be reckless as to cause an injury whilst resisting arrest, uh, etc. Um, so there's a kind of like still so the relevancy of recklessness uh, in section 18. The other um, offences are under section 23 and section 24. These uh, deal with poison um, situations, situations in some kind of administration of a poisonous, nauseous uh, or destructive thing. So to break the acts, uh, break the two sections down, um, what's shared between the, between the two is first of all administration and the legislation and the case law indicates it can be done in one of three ways so direct administration by the defendant, administration through an innocent third party or administration by the victim themselves providing that it is not based on their own voluntary will it has to be a, there has to be administration of a, of a poisonous, destructive or nauseous thing Marcus, a case of Marcus tells us that something nauseous can mean something that's unwholesome, objectionable, for instance. And the other shared element is the fault element. Um, now, this depends on the administration. If it is direct administration, so you know the defendant to the uh, to the victim, then it is enough that first of all that they foresee um, they foresee that the conduct is uh, would cause their conduct would cause the thing to be administered, but also that they know that the thing is poisonous, destructive, or nauseous. And that's in the case of Cato, where it's indirect administration, so through a third party, uh, for instance. Then in the case of Condom tells us it's enough that you foresee that your conduct would cause the thing to be administered. 
Section 23 has a specific uh, requirement that you have to thereby endanger life or inflict uh, grievous bodily harm. Um, and in terms of what that means, it's pretty much the same as it, in terms of the mean of GBH. Um, note that there is no corresponding mens rea requirement uh, for that uh, specific element of Section 23. And finally, Section 24 requires um, also an intention to injure, aggrieve, or annoy. And you might think that's quite an interesting uh, language to use. Um, the case of Hill has tried to resolve that by saying you have to look objectively at the overall intended effects of the substance and then look at the defendant's plan. Um, so look at whether it's malevolent or benevolent. If you have enjoyed this segment, don't forget to comment in the comment section below if you've got any ideas, any suggestions. Uh, if you're interested in the law and you just want to know a little bit about uh, self-defense, for instance, then just message in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next segment. As you can see, I'm in my formal attire. I'm doing guest liaison at the Cambridge Union. As for Dame Inga Beale, she is a former CEO of Lloyd's and the event should be good. Uh, a bit nervous because they've got a collector and then bring her to the union, uh, but I'm sure that'll be fine. And like I said, I'm sure the event will be good as well. First of all, the speaker's event with Dame Inga Beale was uh, quite good. Um, so she discussed things like globalization, climate change, things like that. And that was quite interesting. And in terms of the guest liaison, things went according to plan. I uh, was nervous, but things did work out in the end, and uh, she was just uh, an excellent um, person to talk to. I'm probably going to go to bed now, and with that comes the end of another vlog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give it a like, don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up to date, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, don't forget to comment in the comment section below, and don't forget to share the video as well. And you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And you can check out my previous vlog by clicking here. And I hope to see you in the next vlog. Uh, because that will be uh, some interesting things happening in that vlog. So just you know, watch this space for it.